Hello reformers and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now we have been tasked with the arduous journey over to our house. Yes, over to our house. And we're going to go and get some nails because we're very important. We are very important fellow. Let us do it. Nails for Teresa. There we go. There's always... Uh, what is that? A marigold decoction? All right. And a bandage. We're probably going to need those bandages. <laughs> uh, probably not just yet, right? Not just yet. But soon. Soon we're probably going to need... Uh, yeah, probably going to need some bandages. Anyway, let's go over and bring the nails back to Teresa. And she's probably going to be overjoyed to receive such wonderful nails. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um... She's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Fine lass, eh? Now, stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a Let commoner? Let try it. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, Sir Isvan. Have a safe journey to Sassau. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in scallets, here beneath the linden tree and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. 
But first, I'd like to see the world. Meet new people. Meet them or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry! What about you? Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No! You do what I say, right now. Give the sword to Sir Ratzik. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me. Well, what am I supposed to do with this sword now? Oh, I apparently have to run still. Okay, I was just like, oh, now we can take our time because they don't know where we are. But yeah, they, they obviously do. All right. 
So, yeah, let me just run down this path. I hope that this is the right way to go. If I am going the wrong way, then I am most likely... Oh, oh my... Oh, okay. Well, that scared me for a second there. It's, a, it's almost a horror game, isn't it? It is almost a horror game. I Am I going to be killed by this guy? Am I really? Okay, wait a minute. Can, can, oh, phew. Phew. All right, all right. Okay, so I'd like to draw my sword if I if I can. Let's try and do that. Okay, so I have it. Am I going to be able to do some damage to him? Yeah. That's the thing. It's highly unlikely. <laughs> okay, that's not going to work. That is not going to work. Okay, continue. Continue. Phew. All right, I was oh, dude, phew, that kind of that kind of scared me when when I looked back and the guy was just like right there in our face and I thought to myself I must be pretty quick, but no, I actually wasn't that quick at all. I'm kind of surprised. Is he is he gonna follow me? Is he is he following me still? It doesn't seem like it. Oh, there he is. Okay, we, well we might actually be quicker if I just go this way. So, maybe I can go this way, and, I mean, we need to go to A, right? I, I would assume that we need to go to A, which is on our compass there, and maybe the AI is not going to be very good at following us, or maybe he's just going to fall and kill himself, which would actually be perfectly fine with me, as long as he is not chasing... Are they, are they chasing us? It seems like they are chasing us as well. Okay, so I'm going to have to run a little bit quicker here. Wish I had some more stamina now. I probably should have... Specked into some stamina. Oh, hello there. Now you're giving me the horse riding tutorial. This is not good for me. All right, so Trot is the horse's basic pace and Caps Lock Walk gives your horse a chance to recover and then Canter ideally combines a faster pace with the horse's endurance. Gallop is the fastest, but it will soon deplete your horse's stamina. Oh, left shift. Your horse is smarter than some people and will stick to the path you're on if you give him his head. Give him his head? Yeah. Just begin cantering and don't steer him. All right, so yeah, that's... Okay. Oh my. Okay, I'm a bit worried about this. Okay, is that is that a horse that I can take? Okay, let's do it. Mount. Mount up. Let's do this. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna let him do his thing. Okay, left shift. Okay, so... You can just do that and stay on the path. And hopefully that's going to work. Wait a minute. Uh, there we go. Okay, so I can actually improve our speed by pressing shift. Right, so he is, uh, yes, you have to get to, you have to quickly get to someone who can help you. Alright, so let's do that. I am unfortunately bleeding, so that is obviously going to make a bad, bad thing happen, if we allow it to. And hopefully I'm going to be able to just continue along this path here. And hopefully, oh my, this is not good. Everyone is being slaughtered in the entire region well, not in the entire region, but left. in this small I'll area. To the left, along the stream. Ah, left. Yes, thank you very much, Henry. Ah! Okay, am I going to die? Am I literally going to die just because I am really bad at this? Ah! Okay, come on. Go. Quickly. Oh, wow. Okay, they are very close behind. I would not be surprised if I get killed again, by the way, because... This seems like a very harsh escape sequence. Maybe, oh, oh, maybe that guy's gonna kind of take a little bit of the load off me. Okay, let's just get our horse's stamina back a little bit. Ah, ah no, don't die. Wait, wait a minute. Can I actually just use bandages now? I don't think I can actually use bandages now. Oh, well, never mind. I wonder whether everyone else that has played this has had that difficulty. Maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. It seems like it's impossible for me to not take that damage, so... Oh, really? I have to do this whole, whole thing? Wow. 
I actually thought it would have saved when I got on the horse. Apparently it didn't. Alright, so we've just turned left along the stream and it seems like I may have done a little bit better this time around. I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe the archers have just... I don't know, maybe they're just a little bit worse this time around. But, as you can see, I haven't really taken that much damage, and I should, in theory, be able to survive. At least, until we get help. Or at least I hope so. I do remember this road, actually, from the Alpha. And uh, there's actually, I think, a camp up to the right here? Maybe I'm maybe I'm misremembering. I'm, I'm going to just give my horse a little bit of rest here. I feel like it needs it, does it not? I mean, almost. It was almost out of stamina, but now the archer has caught up to me, so that's not very good. Warn the others. They've torn scallops. Well, it seems like we made it. That was, uh, I think, a little bit too close for my liking. Someone give him a drink, and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you, and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning, and, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. I, I don't know. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm going to pull that arrow out. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage?
Sir, this is a survivor from- I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalitz is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. And so we have arrived in Talmberg and, well... As you can see, the player's character and abilities are determined by the stats, skills, and perks you will find in the player tab. Henry basically develops his abilities constantly simply by using them. Well, we're going to be using our mouths to eat very, very soon. As you can see, he's very hungry. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.